Hi, I'm Ben Peel, UK Managing Director at Portfolio Metrics, and I wanted to explain why we wrote the Insider's Guide to the Value of Advice. Now, there have been lots of articles in the financial press this year alone about the need for advisors to justify their fees, but we believe this is entirely unfounded. However, not every advisor has taken the time to assess and articulate the value of their advice. This might be due to a lack of time or being put off by the ability to quantify some things which sometimes are unquantifiable. This paper is designed to be a roadmap to help any advisor evidence their value to their clients. Also importantly, whilst the FCA doesn't currently insist on this in terms of a regulatory requirement, given their ongoing focus on transparency and the end client, it's not hard to see them moving in this direction, so it makes sense to get prepared now. Also importantly, this paper allows you, the advisor, to cross-check your beliefs about what is important with your clients by setting up a survey to send to them to see what they really value. And that can be very important because there's often a sizable mismatch. Now, there have been a number of industry studies done over the years where they try to quantify exactly the value of advice. A few examples would be Vanguard and Russell Investments estimate that the average advisor or good advisor can add between 300 to 440 basis points per annum in terms of returns. Equally, the International Longevity Center said that those end clients who receive ongoing advice can end up with 50% more pension wealth than their unadvised peers. And then finally, on the academic side, the University of Montreal estimated that an advised client savings would be 2.73 times higher over a 15-year period. But these statistics are all great and very useful, but we would argue that value can't always be measured in monetary or percentage terms. So next we come to the survey findings. We asked over 200 advisors to pick five from a list of 20 suggested attributes and then rank those five in order of importance to them. What was interesting is that soft skills came out as the standout category with 35% of the votes. That was followed by building the financial plan, then putting the plan into action, and finally, ongoing service. In terms of specifics, you can see in the bar chart that empathy was the standout winner with 76% of advisors selecting that in their top five. Next came understanding a client's life goals with 49%. And then in joint third place with 47% was simplify and peace of mind. Everyone would agree that it's impossible to put a price on soft skills such as the gift of time. But we would argue that those soft skills are in fact more valuable to many clients than the more traditional factors like asset allocation or rebalancing or behavioral coaching. It was also very interesting to see what advisors didn't rate in their top five. And you'll have to download the full white paper to see that. So we promised a roadmap for advisors to help articulate the value of their advice. The final list of attributes we came up with listed 22 skills or attributes that an advisor provides to their clients, and none of these have anything to do with investment performance. Interestingly, we had some additions from advisors taking part in the survey, and those additions which made it into the final list were integrity, sounding board, communication, and getting clients to spend money. It's also worth noting that the paper includes three case studies from individual advisor firms. And that shows that every advisor takes a very different approach in terms of articulating the value of their advice. This is perhaps no bad thing because a recent study found that 60% of end clients found it very hard to differentiate between advisors because they all promise the same thing. The final point to say here is don't forget to take us up on the offer of setting up a survey for your clients to make sure that what you think is valuable is aligned with what they think is valuable. At Portfolio Metrics, our whole ethos is based upon partnering with high quality advisor firms and empowering them 
to deliver even better outcomes for their clients. In short, we are very much believers in the value of advice. Now, anyone could compete on price, but firstly, this is not a sustainable business model. And secondly, it doesn't guarantee a better outcome for the end clients. So our recommendation to you, the advisor, is one, be explicit about your fees. Two, clearly show what your clients are getting for their money. And then three, stand firmly behind the value of your offering. If you'd like to learn more about how Portfolio Metrics works with high quality advisors, then please get in touch using the contact details at the end. Thank you.